Sports presents Red Wolves Live. I'm Chris Hudgeson. Welcome to Red Wolves Live. Arkansas State football rallying to beat Troy 34 to 31 tonight. Here's a live look in the post game press conference is going on right now. Turnovers, man, is impressive, man. We put so much work into it. First period of practice, you know, so fruits of our labors are starting to pay off. So, you know, I appreciate uh, Coach Harlan for that, you know, and Coach Jones as well. What is the return of Ethan Hassler to the defense tonight add to you guys this lineup? Uh, it's good to get Ethan back, man. Ethan had, like, you know, a lot of adversity, you know, going through these knee injuries, you know what I'm saying? And, and he's fighting, man. That's my roommate. You know, I see how much, he, you know, he want to get back with him. I talk to him every night, you know, keep his head sharp. Like, you know, he does a great job while he was out leading the other guys, you know, getting Brian Whitehead up to speed, Jane Jones, you know, man. But having him back tonight was a big, was a big help for us, man. So with you being an Alabama guy and a number of Alabama guys on the roster, and then obviously just the kind of the rivalry that's built up with Troy over the years, just, you know, just in a, in a chippiness All right, man, it was a big, it, it definitely was a big win for us, you know what I'm saying? They've been putting a uh, beating on us for the past two years, so, you know, it was good to finally get a win against them. And then, you know, knowing a lot of their players, you know, uh, my quarterback didn't get a chance to play, the, my high school quarterback didn't get a chance to play tonight. You know, just talking to him after the game was just good, you know, seeing all the guys, but also competing at a high level because we knew, like, coming to the week, I said it would be a physical game, and that's exactly what it was. Justin Parks on the mic on defense here. We're going to rewind and here's how it all unfolded at the vault. Four and three Arkansas State taking on one and six Troy. The Red Wolves with the ball first and they're going to howl down the field early. Jalen Rayner to Zach Wallace. Plenty of yards after this catch. Wallace flips the field. He's brought down inside the 20. The drive would stall. Clune Van Andel connects on a 22 yard field goal and Arkansas State takes a three nothing lead after the opening drive. First Troy play from scrimmage. Charles Willikus jars the ball free. And folks, we have a scrum at the vault. Marvin Ham would come out of the pile with the pigskin on the ensuing A State possession. It's Rayner to Corey Rucker. He's going to make a move, and Seven's going to make a miss. He's brought down inside the five, but the drive stalls again. Van Andel with a field goal, and it's good again. The Red Wolves make it 6 0. We're still in the first quarter. Troy going long, but Jordan Mahoney intercepts it for A State near the end zone. Now, the Red Wolves would start their possession at their own one yard line. This play will help. Rayner launches one and Adam Jones makes the grab here for a big gain. Wallace caps a 99 yard drive in style, totes it for the touchdown. Arkansas State led 13 nothing after one, 23 to three at intermission. But here comes Troy in the third, Damian Taylor, goal line TD, it's 23 to 10. After an A State three and out, Matthew Caldwell to Brody Dalton, 16 yard snag and score, and Troy would score. 21 unanswered to take a 24 to 23 lead. The Red Wolves finally end the run. Van Andel drills one 46 yards and good. A state ahead 26 24 after three. Fourth quarter, A state threatening. Rayner is going to run to the corner, but Troy forces the fumble. It's going to bounce off the pylon out of play. The Trojans get the ball off of a touchback. And on the ensuing drive, Gerald Green two yard touchdown. Troy is up 31 to 26 with a minute 45 remaining. But the Red Wolves execute the two minute drill. Rayner to Rucker. He's inside the 10. Corey had 12 catches for 193 yards. A few plays later, Zach Wallace punches it in. Third touchdown of the night. A state back on top, 32 to 31. The home team going for two, one to seven again. Red Wolves up 34 to 31. One more chance for Troy. They're going to throw it to the end zone, but Travian Thomas picks it off. Four takeaways tonight for Arkansas State and another wild one at the vault. The Red Wolves win 34 to 31. The five and three Red Wolves will now be on a bye week. They'll renew their rivalry with Louisiana on November 9th.